Um, and one of the main things that the Chinese tanks do, they come with their own GPS. So the commander doesn't have to rely on maps or their phone uh, in looking at Google Maps, unlike the Russian tanks, which don't have their own inbuilt GPS, and, mm. uh, which, is, which is, seems such a simple thing to have and makes life so much easier. I'm, I'm guessing the Chinese have their own system of GPS yes, called Beidou or something like that. But, I don't know. Um, it, it, was yeah. it was listed there. I was saying mm. I'm, nobody's going to know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'll just say it's, a, it's their own version of uh, secure global mm. positioning so they can figure out, I am here on this map and I have an electronic map in front of me showing me where I am. There's one interesting thing with GPS, which is that it, the, the chances of the satellite systems surviving a high intensity war are a bit on the low side. But um, GPS doesn't actually need to be in a moving satellite. The system works just fine with a transceiver in a known location. So you could, um, for national security and redundancy, just have GPS transceivers on hilltops um, and the um, the systems would actually work quite fine with those. As long as you're still radiating EM spectrum and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the, your transceiver could get wiped out, but at least, you, you know, it's not getting shot out of space. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing with space is that the... Um, it's hard to hit. Well, the, the thing with space is, though, that there's a real danger of um, runaway debris.